scratch that you can currently see outlined by the Sharpie pen up here. Good big scratch down here and kind of some scuff scratches. That's what Nick's going to work on getting out today. Welcome back to Midwest Dream Car Collection. Today we're with Nick Pell, a mechanic here at the museum, and Nick is going to uh, show us uh, how to get scratches out of car windshields. Uh, he's practiced a couple times on some other cars that we've had and been very successful with some huge wiper marks and and uh, it was a fun experience for you Nick learning how to yeah, do that. Yeah, it's uh, different. It's something I've never done before but I've kind of been interested in and I learned that older cars definitely have a lot tougher glass than new stuff. We did a, what was it, a Morgan, the Morgan 1960. 61. 1961 Morgan it had some pretty bad scratches on it. That was difficult to get out. We did a, I did a 2010 Tesla, and they came out with very little effort. So much softer we're glass. Try on this Apache truck. The glass is pretty good, except there's I don't know what, but it looks like something rattled off the edge of it here and got a bunch of scratches. We've circled it with a sharpie. And yeah, circled it with a sharpie on the inside so we can concentrate the polishing and not lose our reference from the inside. So it makes it easier to know you're polishing in the right spot without having to wipe off and waste using the compound. And um, there's a lot of uh, work that goes into uh, doing this, a lot of preparation work. And, and one of the things that uh, we've learned is uh, uh, what a mess this makes this process a, makes absolutely <laughs> a huge mess um it's a shame that pretty much you're gonna have to redetail the entire vehicle after you do it but i'm gonna try and put some plastic drop cloths on it to try and reduce the amount of cleaning that's gonna take uh, the stuff we use is called cerium oxide it's a very fine powder and you mix it with water and we'll, we'll show you that in a little bit but first thing i need to get this thing covered up with some plastic and try and reduce the amount of cleanup that's going to be necessary. All right, we'll pause and get the car covered up, truck covered up, and then we'll be right back. Yep. It's kind of like going to the dentist and they wall off everything except the tooth they're going to work on. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> the shield or whatever. Nick's got it all covered over really nicely. You can see the area left this is where the repair will be. Nick, this is the super stuff here. This is a cerium oxide glass polishing compound, so I assume that's how you pronounce it, but it's just a powder, like kind of orangish flour, and it's about the consistency of flour. You just mix it up with some water make a paste. But the cons consistency of like a toothpaste or? Uh, a like a, yeah, that? a toothpaste would be probably about perfect. You don't want it really runny because you want it to not fly off. You want it to be kind of thick. So I'll just, I just mix a little bit of water. In. Like a, just a little slurry. It's, it's deep. It won't go all the way away, but we can try and polish it out as best as possible and make it less, less noticeable. But you have to go really slow. Um, I'm not sure if this is original glass to the vehicle. It, I doubt it if it's a modern glass, but there's a transparent film in between there being that it's safety glass. And if you overheat the area, it will warp the film in between the two laminates of glass and ruin the windshield. It'll be a blurry spot right there. So mm. slow and keeping the heat out of it is the way to do it. If it was just plain plate glass or a tempered glass, it would be a little more aggressive. Be, you could be a little more aggressive with it until it got too hot that it cracked or broke, which at that point not that aggressive. Not that aggressive. <laughs> it's a hard felt pad and it's very stiff. It's pretty Pretty rigid for glass polishing. 
Um, it's not like there's really any grits or anything. I mean, the abrasive is the cerium oxide and you just use the water to keep it flowing so you can move the product around and do it. But it's uh, definitely, I got it all over me already and we haven't even started yet. So <laughs> it's definitely a messy process. And you got, I just got water in here and we'll use a bunch of water. Just try and keep it wet. And you really need to use, you, when you do it, you work right off the edge. You don't want a large surface area being that using this. I mean, you can, but you have to be careful. You have a better chance of burning the glass or building up too much heat using large surface area. If you use just the edge of it, you can really concentrate it and you're not heating up so much area. Get that a little bit of water and see. That's way more than I need. Pretty much just go back and forth and back and forth and it's going to take quite a bit before you're going to see any results. So After I do that, that's why I, we use the marker on the inside to circle the area. That way you always have a reference point. You can, I can kind of see the, the sharpie through here so I know where to keep working. Otherwise you might kind of start drifting off of the target. <laughs> work on something that's already Yeah, work on something that's already good that you don't need to. So. We'll work the area a little bit, wipe it off, see how the progress is, and it's going to take several times to do it. I guess we'll find out how long it takes to repair these scratches as to probably the age of the glass. If they come out pretty fast, I'll say this is very modern, newer soft glass. Um, so far, my what we've done is older vehicles are pretty hard and it takes a lot of effort to get the scratches out so sort of polishing cleaning it off polishing cleaning it yeah, off yeah exactly back. so we'll work on this for a little bit and see where we're at Keeping it wet also reduces the heat in the glass so you don't burn it up and melt it. Well, how's it looking? <laughs> Trying to get a good clean view of it. Now, it's definitely improved. It's not as noticeable here. This is very deep still. You can see it, but it's it's getting lighter. Though. It's definitely getting lighter, and that wasn't Boy, the a other couple of minutes. Are almost gone. It's yeah, they're gone. just a couple. They're a little bit. You can still kind of see. That's a lot better already. So they weren't that deep. I don't think, but work concentrate on that lower area and this side. Looking pretty good, Nick. Looking much better. Much better. I still see this down here, and a little, just a little bit here, but I can't. I, I, here, yeah, I, I can't. Here. I can't catch my fingernail on it, so it's obviously polishing it out. So, and that's really not much time at all spent on that. What I think it will. Ten minutes. We maybe have? ten minutes. Yeah, that's. I'd say this is pretty new glass if it's coming out that easily, so we'll see if we can get 
this a little bit better. I still see some little faint marks. If you look at it just right. Sounds good. It's a lot better. One more. Uh, one probably more a couple, couple more. Couple more. Couple more. Okay. Should be good. We'll pause here and let Nick finish doing what he's been doing and then we'll Come catch you at the end. And see, it, see what it looks like. Yeah. Well, Nick just finished the final process and how many times do you think? Maybe six times? Probably, maybe five times. Five, five times? Five, times. Yeah. Between. It, it turned out pretty nice. You can, I still see a little bit right there. I don't feel it anymore. It's kind of hard to see. You have to catch the light just right, but I'm not sure if we're going to get much better than that, and I don't want to risk breaking the glass. It's definitely, I guess we'll have to get some shots from the inside looking out. It was very noticeable before looking looking at that it. Direction. Um, but but it you could see it from the outside when you're right up by it in person. Right. And now you really don't without really, if you're really looking, looking, for looking for it. For yeah, it. if you're looking for that little line at the bottom, you would see it. And I don't think you're going to get much better than that. But looks pretty good. Definitely uh, makes the car look a lot nicer. Not having a big road rash looks like on the windshield. Oh, it does have wiper blades. I was going to say, I don't know if this truck has wiper <laughs> blades. <laughs> But uh, we didn't make that big of a mess. No, not too bad compared to some like of the some others. Some of the other ones. Uh, some of those others were uh, pretty major scratches and exactly. on this across is, the whole windshield. This is pretty minor, so but, uh, I think it turned out pretty nice. Turned out great. Well, thank you, Nick. No problem. And uh, we'll catch you on another video another time. Yep. Thank you. Thank you.